sometimes the most creative moments in science are when the preconceived ideas turn out to be wrong. In the 19th century, people were convinced that space was filled with the ether. What happened was that this failure to discover the ether, which would have been in some sense an absolute, led us to this much more flexible idea about the way in which science should operate. And the answer, of course, is special relativity. Relativity is an incredibly powerful idea. It gave us the idea that you should think of time as being a fourth dimension and explains to us how we can understand all our observations without having any ether. So it could be the same thing with the Higgs boson. Maybe that's the next ether. Here we are all telling ourselves we expect to find this unseen particle. Perhaps it would be you know, much more healthy for the field if we discovered, no, it doesn't exist. Something else gives masses to the elementary particles. One way of avoiding having a Higgs boson may be to postulate an additional dimension or more of space. So it comes back to the, again to the idea that space is not what we think it is, but is actually a, a more complicated object. One of the main things we're going to be trying to do with the uh, LHC is look for this Higgs boson or, or whatever does its job. I personally feel it would actually be much more exciting if experiments could prove that there is no Higgs boson, because that would prove that all the ideas that we theorists have been working on for uh, more than 40 years are garbage. That would be very exciting. But somehow I think they're going to find the Higgs.